welcome back to my youtube channel so today we will be making the lovely dry susan the thumbnail so um you will be needing some two nets okay you'll be needing some fabric i'm using scuba or neoprene so you need a matching zipper and um i'll be making use of bias tape because this fabric is quite thick. I don't want to use facing. So if your fabric is not as thick as this, you can do facing. But I don't want it to be too bulky. Okay, so I'll be using um, a bias tape to tape the neck and the angle since it's going to be a sleeveless. So you need your tape room pattern paper because I want to draft it up the first place the place of my um fabric okay and you'll be needing your measurements so i'll be making use of these measurements i have my bust bust um 20 waist 22 full length 18 then the neckline the shoulder 8 inches okay so this i want to show us this if you've not gotten this this is a standard um this measurement so you can pause this now and screenshot it or there's a link in the description box for my facebook group where you can go and download the picture of this okay so you can screenshot this this is tested and trusted um kiddies size charts okay so if you're into ready to wear you can make use of this and if you have a client that the, they can't send measurements to you, you can't assess any measurements, you can use this. This is very good. This is from um, age three, three months to 10 years. Okay? This is from three months to 10 years. It's, it's okay. So let's get into the cutting. Okay? So guys, I've placed my pattern paper on my table. Okay, so I'll be making a margin line here. It's it's just um just to have a straight line that I will start with. Okay, so my shoulder measurement is um eight. As we all know, we have to divide the shoulder by two, making it four. So this is my four here okay so my ample length for this key this um this this dress can be worn by six to um ten months old baby six to ten, six to nine months or six to ten months okay so the ammo 4.25 which is here so I'll rule that out 4.25. 4.25. I'm trying to get a straight line. That's why I'm marking it at several places. 4.25. Okay, so I'll rule it out. 4.25. That's my ammo line or my chest line. Okay. So the next measurement is my full length. So my full length here, I'm using 18 inches. So this is um, include, including the sewing, the hemming allowance. So the child's full length is 17 inches and um, and I'm using one inch for hemming allowance. Okay, so my from shoulder to waistline, you know the dress is an A shape, but I want to get the waistline, so I'm I'll be making use of seven inches for the waistline. I want it to have a bit of shape. Okay, so this is it. So we have here our starting point 
our chest line or the bust line the waist and the full length okay so i'll impute my um i already impute my shoulder measurement which is four inches then the chest or the bust you know kids don't have bust yet so it's either chest or bust and it is it's, it's flat so we have 20 divided by four will give us five inches so this is five inches okay the waist is 22 that is um 5.5 inches okay so for the hem now how wide i want it to be i'm going to be using seven inches to for the hem part you know it's a shape so i'm going to connect from the waist to the hem like so from the waist up to the bust or chest like so okay now to get my armhole around here i'll bring down my shoulder measurement which is four inches to get a straight line to form a box okay so you see the box okay so i'm going to be using um half inch for the shoulder slant i'm going to be using half inch for the shoulder slant then um, i'm using neckline of two inches wide wide and um two and a half inches in length so the width is two inches here and the length is two and a half inches here so this half inch here i'm going to connect it to my two inches okay like so like so then i'll use my curve ruler to connect the um the neckline two and a half inches to the two inches like so okay so for the armhole the remaining the remaining armhole we're going to be dividing it into half a mark that you go in by quarter inch go in by quarter inch like so then you connect from this shoulder slant here to this with a straight ruler as you can see then from this inward this uh, point you took inward you connect it to your bust measurement with a curve not too curvy you know they are kids so not too curvy so we have our measurement but of course this measurement is without seam allowance so i'm going to be adding one inch seam allowance here then around the arm oh, i'm going to be adding half inch seam allowance the shoulder measurement i'm going to be adding half inch for the joining so guys i've added my one inch sewing allowance here if we can see it then this is um my half inch shoulder joining allowance then my half inch arm allowance if you can see it properly okay so this is for the front pattern i'm going to use this to cut the back but that will be on my fabric the difference between the back pattern 
and the front pattern is that the back will have a zipper allowance where um, you put your zip okay for easy wearing then the neckline I use two and a half for the depth so in this case I'm going to be using one and a half inches so let me just mark it out for us to see the difference or oh, I can use one inch let's use one and a half inch okay so you connect it back to the to here okay so this line is for the back I use one and a half and this is for the front I use two inches okay the, the, the body is equal the body is the same okay the body is the same everything is the same apart from the fact that you add your zip allowance by this side you know this is on fold okay so you add your zipper allowance here all right so i'll cut this out now then go ahead cut it on my fabric and come back to show us what it looks like and how to cut our tool net for the ruffle part okay so guys i want to show us something this is our cut out pattern okay so you first of all cut out the back neckline you know the front is deeper so you get to the back before the front so don't make the mistake of cutting the front first no cut the back first then after cutting your your um pattern your fabric after cutting this pattern on your fabric then you can go ahead to cut out the front shall we get so i will do that now So this is how it's going to be and I'll cut it on my fabric. So guys, I've finished um, cutting it out. Remember, this is our pattern. So this is the back. You can see the neckline is, um, then you can see the front is lower than the back. The back is higher than the front neckline. Okay, so I'll keep this aside. You can see the arm O. Okay, let me keep this aside. This bias, I'll be using it to tape to finish off the front, um, all the necklines and the arm home. Okay, so now this is my two neck. I don't know how many yards is here because this is left over from what I've used before, but I'm sure it's going to be enough for what I want to use it for. So you're going to fold your two net into the minimum um, minimum length, like smaller size, so that you can be able to cut cut them well without anyone being um, longer or shorter. Okay, so this is it. And this is another one. So with these two nets, you're going to measure out about four inches, depending on how um, wide you want your ruffle to be. I want mine to be four inches, so I'm making use of four inches. If you want yours to be shorter than this, you make use of three inches, okay? So I want mine four inches, so I'll make use of four inches. You mark out four inches, mark out four inches. You do this until you get to the final one. I'm seeing what I'm marking. Maybe you guys can't see it because of um, the chalk and because it's a two net. Okay, so this is the first line, this is the second line, and this is the third line. So I'll do this till I get to the minimum. Okay, please don't mind the background noise. Um, the kids are around, so you cut out. You cut out the other one. Or you can do this after cutting out the first one. You can place it here. And cut out the other one place it again 
cuts out till you exhaust your full net. Okay. So guys, I have my bundle of um, tools here that will be gathering, okay? So this gathering, you can either gather with your hand needle and thread or you run a gather stitch on it in the middle like this. When you open it up, when you open it up like this, you can run a gather stitch in the middle. Find the midpoint, you can eyeball it find the midpoint and run a gathering stitch in the middle and pull but myself i'm going to be gathering as i'm sewing i'm going to be running a gather stitch i'm going to be pleating if you can see what i'm doing i will sew pleat sew pleat i will sew pleat until i exhaust everything so i'll be showing us okay so let's go to the sewing machine and make ruffles out of this. So guys, like I said, we are going to be gathering as we sew. So it's just like I'm pleating and sewing. I don't have to go through the stress of sewing the gather stitch first, then start pulling. No, I don't have that time. So this is our cutout so watch what i'm going to be doing okay so you eyeball the center of these two all right so let's start i'm going to eyeball the center of this then i'll back stitch then i'll start splitting you raise this up pleat a handful and always eyeball to make sure what you pleat and sew is equal to the rest, okay? So you sew, then you pleat. This is basically pleat and sew, pleat and sew, okay? Make sure you're sewing at the middle so that they will balance out. Pleat and so I, I think this is faster for me than um drawing that because like drawing gathers up because your thread might cut and you will start all over again. So you can see the what it's forming is forming a ruffle here if you can see it. Okay, so we'll do this till we finish um we'll do this till we finish all these cutouts okay so i will continue i'll have to i'll have to fast forward it so that we won't waste our time okay so um guys there is something i want to show us i, I have a um a bit of two left here that i've not got that that's the end of this um, particular tool, okay? So I want to join the next two to it. This is the next one I'm joining. So I'll look for the beginning. So this is the beginning. So I'll have to gather it into this one to continue i don't have to cut the thread of this one because it's finished no i want to make it very long continuous um ruffle okay so i'll just plate it with this one this remaining one if you can see it i'll just plate it with it okay so i need to continue just like that that's what i want to show us i need to form one long Ruffle. So I've done that. So I'll continue plating. Okay. So I'll see us when I finish everything. I still have a lot. Okay. But if you have gathering food, it will be quite easier. Um, mine got spots. So I have to do this manually.
See us at the end of the gathering. So guys, this is our two, our ruffles, and you can see how many I have, I have here, okay? So we'll go over to joining these, all these, um, coupling the dress, actually. So let's get started. So what I will be doing now is to use my bias and tape around the neckline and the arm hole. I'll do this for the front. I'll do this for the back. Okay. So I'm using my bias to sew round to finish it off. Okay. So let's go. Finishing off the armholes and the neckline. So the next thing I want to do now is to fix my zip. Okay, so from here the neckline from the neck, I'm going to come down to about eight inches. So from the neckline, I'll come down to eight inches I'll come down to eight inches here and sew down my zipper allowance you know from here to the hem I'll sew it down so I can fix my zip okay so from this eight inches up will be my zipper opening okay so I'll do that now Make sure they are equal, both up and down. Make sure they are equal, so that one won't be longer than the other. Okay, what I'll do is to pin it down. Then remember I gave my one inch sewing allowance so I will sew down from this pin this pin mark I will sew the rest down with my one inch zipper allowance okay Okay, so I'm sewing on a tight stitch because this is scuba. It's a stretchy fabric, so I have to sew with a tight stitch. Okay now, so I'll fix my zip. I'll do that now and I'll get back to us. So guys, here we are. We have our ruffle. We have our back. And we have our front. I've gone ahead to hem them and give them a good press. Okay? I've hemmed. I just took out my one inches for hemming allowance and hemmed it. Okay? So um, the next thing to do now is to join my two shoulders together. After the two shoulders, placing them right side facing each other. After placing that, joining my two shoulders together, then I'm going to sew my sewing allowance, the side seam. So, 
so i'm going to join the shoulders together then i will sew my side seam remember i added one inch sewing allowance so i will sew my side seam the armhole has been neatly um finished the neckline finished i've put in my zipper then hemmed the bottom so i'll sew my side seam and my shoulder with my the shoulder the half inch allowance i added my side seam with one inch allowance that i added okay before we sew our ruffles so so guys this is what we have we have our a-line dress okay so this is the back this is the front so the last thing is to fix these ruffles okay so i'm going to start from the bottom from the down i'm going to start from one side seam to start sewing them round so this is the end you locate the middle point that place you stitched on please try to locate it this is mine so i will sew like this i can i can decide to start sewing from my um hem line i can decide to shift it a bit and start from the tip of of the dress anywhere you want to start so you sew like so you start sewing making sure you use your hand to open it up and you go round as if you're sewing a flare okay so we'll see that in a bit okay, so make sure that, that you're not sewing the down the the one down okay be careful don't rush it make sure you're not sewing the one on that just spread it like this then this is my sewing allowance you can see i trimmed off this part because it was coming out okay so this is what you do you spread it open i i open pressed mine so you can do the same you spread it open like so then you place it on your sewing machine making sure this one is is not there the other side is not there okay let me try to locate the middle point then i stitch down and start sewing okay please be gentle and always use your hand to push the other ruffle push it by the side make sure it's spread wide open if you can see what i'm doing i'm struggling to open it up so please do the same don't be in a rush and remember to check if you're not sewing the the other clothes on that Try to stitch it at that gathering line where you gathered it before. Try to stitch it there. So that's what we'll continue to do until I exhaust my ruffles. So. Try as much as possible to sew on that first thread. The one you made, you sewed when you were gathering the ruffles. Try as much as possible to sew on it. So basically this dress is 
it's not up to four hours okay considering the fact that i'm a nursing mom now and um i do have breaks to attend to my baby so it's basically not up to four hours and you know i i had to do the gathering manually okay so give or take four hours and you're done So guys, when reaching the the, the beginning of your first ruffle, um, so guys, I had to change the position of my camera. So when reaching this first starting point, you have to place this to at least one inch above it. Don't stop it directly so that there won't be demarcations, okay? So you have to place it on it at least one inch and so down then you cut out and start another line all round that is how you go round and round and round till you exhaust your two okay so i will do that now and i will get back to us hi guys so look at where we are now like i'm super exhausted like i'm so tired Working with this thing, these real fools, they can be so, so tiresome. Like, so um, there are a few tips that I want us to look at when we're making our own. Like, if I want to make my next cupcake dress, I will mark down my lines first, maybe with um, a fabric pen or fabric chalk. Um, anything that is visible though because um the ruffles are going to be covering it so i will mark down my lines and follow the lines because gosh ah, when you do the first layer second layer by the time you get to the third layer doing it round 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 oh god it's super exhausting and you know you'll be turning your um You'll be turning your ruffle so that you would so decide that it's not supposed to be okay so when you finish you just trim out some parts that are not rhyming so this is the back this is the back this is our dress okay this is it so thank you guys so much for joining me on this tutorial i hope I'll get a tag when you make yours. Tag me on my social media handles, my Facebook, my Instagram, and also equally my Facebook group too. So thank you guys so much and have a lovely day. Bye.